I'm here with Oliver, and today we went to the specialist uh, to learn a little bit more about what's been going on with him. Um, some of you may know his story, okay, 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 and <clears throat> I've been following along, and some of you might be new to it, but Oliver's a very, very special dog, and recently he, we found a large mass on his neck right here, which you can actually see. Um, <clears throat> and so he's going to be six in the fall and we've been trying to figure out what's going on. So we first saw the vet, um, like our regular vet and we did an aspiration biopsy and that showed up blood and we kind of like, were able to, um, say it's not a fatty deposit. It's not a cyst. It's not an abscess. And because of the location, it's been really, really tricky to diagnose. So we finally got in with a specialist and saw them today. And up to this point, we were told that <clears throat> it was likely hemangiosarcoma, uh, which is a really uh, deadly, fast-growing cancer that shows up mostly in dogs. And um, because it's full of blood and, and just like what it, we were able to rule out. Um, and so that was really sad. And um, basically, there's not much you can do. Um, they, it tends to just rupture and then they can uh, drop dead. But Today we got a little bit of hope. Um, the specialist actually thinks it might be thyroid cancer and, or a thyroid tumor, which ironically, I um, had my thyroid removed from a large mass on mine, large tumor on mine in the exact same location. I mentioned this to the vet, the other vet initially, and she kind of dismissed it, but this specialist said, no, this is pretty common and they think this is what it is. Um, so anyone who doesn't know Oliver, he's extremely special. He's from St. Lucia and he was rescued at four weeks old by help paws on the streets. And um, then we, he was brought to us at 10 weeks old. And I, he's just the, I've had so many dogs and he's just the most special dog and have four kids and we're all extremely attached to him. He saw us through the pandemic. He saw us through um, my divorce and um, just that huge, uh, they, uh, just huge family change. Uh, lots of people during the pandemic would borrow Oliver. First responder neighbors would come and take him for a walk after their shift to just decompress. Uh, I had family members who would borrow him for a weekend here and there and eventually got their own dog because of him. Said Oliver was false advertising because he's so good. And um, he knows when my daughter's gonna get a migraine and he's just been my rock through so much. And our families kind of felt like, um, Every time, we keep getting hit. There's just been one wave after another of things that have happened to us over about the past um, four years. And every time we kind of feel like, okay, life's get going, uh, it just feels like there's another thing. So I'm a solo parent uh, with four kids and my partner, uh, Ben, his dog Jackson is best buddies with Oliver. But um, other, one, other than this mass, he's completely acting normal and healthy. And so, if it is um, thyroid cancer, he would have it removed, we'd have to remove it, and he'd have chemotherapy, and the outlook's actually quite good. He could live for a few years, uh, quite a bit longer. It's actually a really curable cancer. Um, and it's very much treated like a human, so I immediately knew exactly what they're talking about because um, I've been through that surgery and everything, so I understood, and I have to take that medication, so we would be on, the, if this is what it is. The thing that we need help with is um, these vet bills are gonna be astronomical. So just to diagnose it, because it's in that location, um, we're really, they're really worried they're gonna rupture it if they do things the wrong way. The next step is a CAT scan on Thursday, which is gonna cost close to $4,000, and then blood work, which is another 600 or 500. Um, and then if it is thyroid cancer, the surgery and the chemotherapy that he'd have to be under the radiation would be around roughly $10,000. Um, so it's a lot. Um, and you know, I would do my best to do it all, but I think that at this point it's time to ask for help. Cause I know so many of you are invested in him and followed him for so, so long. So I'm creating a GoFundMe. Um, it's very hard for me to ask for help. I've not asked for help for all the things I've been through, the things I share, the things that I haven't shared that we've gone through and close friends know. But this is the point where I'm like, you know what? I think people would want to help with Oliver. Um, 
and anything I would post. So like, I'm just going to set it lower for just the diagnostic testing. And then if it is um, thyroid cancer, and we're going to go that route, then I'll raise it, post all the receipts so you can see. And then anything that we raise that might be above any of the vet bills, I'm going to donate it to the Burlington Oakville um, Humane Society and just like try to kind of give back to other dogs. But I think it, he deserves to kind of have <laughs> um, any fighting chance that he can get. So I'm going to link it. I, I feel a little gross though, you know, asking for this or it's a weird feeling. And I also feel like it's a dog. So if there's another GoFundMe that you are, were thinking about donating to, just go ahead and donate to that one. Or if you don't have the means, please don't. Um, it is a dog and we'll figure it out. Um, and or if you want to share another phone GoFundMe that you want me to share, um, I'd be happy to. Anyways, I'm going to add the link and the bio. And if you want to share it with some people, that would be amazing. But I think he deserves, you know, for a, we need to figure out exactly what's going on. And if he has a fighting chance, I want to give it to him. So thank you guys.